Neonatology is a relatively new subspecialty, and Bob Christensen is a world-renowned researcher and leader in neonatal care right here in this hospital. Pretty much all of the reference ranges that have to do with cell counts, CBCs, white counts, hemoglobin, somatocrits, reticulocyte counts, all of those are based on research that Bob Christensen has done. So everyone that uses a reference range uses Bob Christensen's research. But he has lots of other unique innovations. Bob Christensen has made some very impressive advancements in the world of neonatology. He helped in the development of an artificial amniotic fluid that was helping babies intolerance to feedings to be fed essentially what they were used to during the entire pregnancy. He's done a lot of research in hyperbilirubinemia or jaundice. He's kind of discovered several reasons why babies become jaundice and has identified those as well as treatments for them. And with that, he's saved a lot of babies' lives as well as their mental capacities. He helped invent a, a new respiratory care fluid. Rather than doing saline for endotracheal tubes and things that which inactivate some of the natural antibodies, created a new fluid which did not inactivate the body's natural immune and antibody system to decrease ventilator-associated pneumonia and other respiratory problems. And I don't know how many people know this, he was the person who defined the normal values for CBCs for neonates. They had the adult ones, but with his research he defined what's normal for neonates. He was the first one that had thought of taking initial blood samples from babies' cords so that we don't take blood from them and therefore we don't have to do as many transfusions, and therefore he's also related that to a lower incidence of intraventricular hemorrhage. Bob has authored hundreds of studies and journals and articles and several books that he's written chapters in, but he also, on the personal side, is an author and has written stories about his hometown in Layton. He has written children's books that are quite fun. Bob is the most brilliant, kind and humble human being I've ever met and that those attributes don't normally go together in one person but Bob seems to possess them all. Each year we have a NICU reunion where we invite all past graduates from our NICU back into the unit and the parents and kids run back and surround Bob Christensen to thank him, uh, give him a hug, let him know how appreciative they are for the care that he gave and life-saving measures that he did for their child and their baby that was now with them. Dr. Christensen is a master of making people feel safe, welcome, and at ease. And he does that a lot with eye contact and through touch and through his gentle, soft voice. And he just has this way of making parents, especially, feel like things are gonna be okay and that he cares about them. And they have all commented how much they love and appreciate him. He is a mentor continually, as well as a role model for all who know him.